In this lecture, we're going to be talking about the correlation between your lifestyle and T levels. Lifestyle's improvement for testosterone production stimulation practices to stimulate T production. The best way for you to increase your T levels is to adopt it as a lifestyle. Adopt all the principles, exercises, things that you need, that your body needs, things that you can do to increase T levels. You don't want it to be a burden. You want it to be something natural that occurs naturally for you to be able to always increase and maintain high levels of testosterone in your body. So first things first, we're going to talk about some daily habits. There are some things that you can do on a daily basis, some habits that have a lot of different benefits, including higher T levels. There are some daily habits that you can do that can help in the process of T production. Some of these habits are not easy. Some of them are a bit easier, but what you need is to build a system to implement these habits and make them a part of your daily life. You need to make them a lifestyle that happens so naturally so you don't feel that it's a burden and you feel that you actually have to put in a lot of effort. And once you realize the benefits that come with these habits, you will automatically start to lean towards adjusting yourself and adjusting your lifestyle with those habits if you are truly serious about increasing your T-levels and getting all the benefits that you can get out of it. Now, first things first, you need to embrace the cold. Cold showers were found to effectively help in the increased production of testosterone. Many doctors recommended that young men take bath in cold water to reduce the sin of self-pollution in the 19th century. So basically, um, cold water was thought to, dis to extinguish uh, a man's flaming carnal desires, according to the Art of Manlius. But that was wrong, because the newest studies and research indicates that cold showers actually increases testosterone production in men. Increased testosterone levels not only boost a man's libido, but as we said, has a lot of different benefits that we talked about. So taking cold showers do raise testosterone levels in men. And yeah, it's very, very beneficial to our health in general, at, as it has a lot of um, benefits. Uh, it helps your willpower. It helps in muscle recovery. It gets you out of your comfort zone. It relieves you from stress and depression, which are all correlated with testosterone levels. One of the main reasons why cold showers are so important is because some research on rats where there was a lot of heat on their, on their testicles showed a big drop in testosterone. The reason why our testicles are hanging outside our body and not inside is because if they were inside, the body temperature that we have will actually um, result in dropping the T levels. So cold showers uh, will help increase T levels because heat and very hot showers will actually cause a drop in T levels. Even if you don't want to have a complete cold shower, putting cold water on your testicles and genitals can have a lot of positive effects when it comes to T levels. That's why some research also suggests that sleeping naked as a way to relieve pressure on your sexual organs was also found to be effective. That doesn't also not just relieves pressure, but it also gives a chance for your testicles to uh, reduce the heat around it and get more uh, of the cold around it. Moving on, we're going to talk about body language and behavior. There are a lot of body language and behavioral traits that can actually stimulate higher levels of testosterone. One study found that opening up your arms as wide as possible every day for a few minutes can be very helpful in increasing your testosterone levels. Furthermore, using power poses and open body language is something that can also be helpful. And finally, one thing that can also be helpful is behaving with confidence and assertiveness, and that comes through the power poses, proper body language. 
and of course, behavioral traits correlated with confidence and assertiveness. One of the main reasons why body language and behavior can help increase T levels or maintain them, at least prevent them from being reduced, is because a proper body language and behavior can help you cope with uh, cortisol and stress, which is highly correlated with lower levels of testosterone. A recent study coming up from Harvard, University of Oregon, and University of Texas, and many other places, is revealing that powerful and effective leaders not only share similar mindsets, but also share similar hormone levels. And of course, leaders tend to have higher levels of testosterone. I will include the article that talks about body language and power poses and how they can actually affect your T levels if you're trying to learn more about it and actually understand what the power poses are if you're not familiar with them. Now, moving on, we're going to be talking on a cognitive level. Meditation is one of the practices that are simple yet highly effective because of one of the main reasons that it also reduces stress. It helps you focus and concentrate and puts your body in the good overall flow. And finally, as part of a diet-related strategy, intermittent fasting is one of the ways that can also, one of the practices related to diet that can actually be influential and help increase your T levels. And there's going to actually be a link also included that talks about this particular topic.